So I'm making this video in response to someone else's video. Um, they were having problems with their stitch. The, there's no bobbin on this Betsy Ross toy sewing machine. Anyway, I took the whole thing apart, oiled it, and I have threaded it. So you can see it goes forward here, it goes under here, under this little um, metal piece. Um, when you turn the wheel, it also lifts up and lets the tension off. And then here's the tension for, this is for tension, and then it goes through this loop and then here, through this hole, you have to loop it through the needle in this direction or it won't catch underneath. Um, one thing I did find is there is a spring under here, um, right here. And that keeps the tension on the, um, what would be where the bobbit is. Um, something else I noticed that the, when I would turn the wheel, it would catch um, here. Can you see? Yes, so you, it would catch here, right there. And now it's not catching because all I did was unscrew this and push the needle up. It had not been used for many, many years. Um, so, let me give this a try. Um, something else I found to, I think it affects the tension of the um, stitch is this. Now, right now, it is not making an effect on this piece that's in here, but um, when it when you're sewing, you'll find that it will shift forward, and then sometimes it will... I, I just i am not really sure what that does. I think it has something to do with affecting the tension on the thread, because this spring here, I believe, probably... I don't know if it moves the whole thing forward. I think it does. Anyway, I think that has something to do with the tension. So, um, here we can give it a shot. I don't want to... here so that when you take it out, you don't have to re-thread the needle. And you have to pull it out like this because the whole thing will break if you don't. So. And there's this stitch. <laughs> 